on whose Instagram page you may have come across at some point. I know I have for sure when I'm searching for, for swimsuits. Um, her name is Nima, and I want you to hear and see some of the products from her. So take a look at what she had to say. My name is Neman Kata Kinoti. I'm the founder and CEO of Ohana Family Wear Limited. Uh, and our flagship product is Ohana Swimwear, which is African print swimwear. So basically, we design, manufacture, and sell swimwear that is inspired by African culture. And I have some here. So for in Ohana Swimwear, what we do is we combine the latest colors, prints, and fabrics to create modern designs that are influenced by emerging international trends as well as the African culture. I have some samples here with me. So for instance, this is Zara Bikini. This is actually influenced by the Somali and Uganda culture. I'm not sure which one. They're still debating which one, but I, I vote both cultures. So we got this print from both cultures. And then we have the Kisanet one piece. So basically for this, what we did is we just played around with colors and prints and voila, we created magic with this one. And then our latest and one of my favorite designs is this Ifra set collection. So Ifra in Quran, it means uh, joyful and delightful. So that's what I was hoping this modest swimwear will bring to our new category of customers. And that's why I was very, very particular in the colors and prints. So you can see it's kind of like the sun and joy and it's just bright and that's what we represent in Ohana. So it has the matching leggings and the turban as well. And we have the shorts for guys. So we didn't forget about our men. Um, for this one, it's basically the shiki print that we mix matched with the colors to come up with a cool design. And we have a matching but different color as well. So with the shorts, you could easily pair another his or has collection and all our swimsuits uh, they're until uh, size XXL, which is double XL. For, for the men's shorts, it goes until size 40. For the female swimwear, it goes until size 24. We have a variety of swimwear. At Ohana Swimwear, we never run out of style, so be sure to check out our social media platforms, our Instagram at ohana.swimwear, Facebook Ohana Swimwear, our website www.ohanafamilywear.com. Nima, it's so nice to finally meet you. Nice to meet you as um, well. So it's interestingly, interestingly, I have to say that we do have a mutual friend in the fashion accessories business yes. industry. And he was like, oh, Sharon, you need to meet Nima. Like, you have to, you have to make it happen. Yes. I'm going to say his name. He's Mark. <laughs> um, and Mark was just like, you have to meet her. She has such, like, zeal for life. And he had such great things to say about you. Oh, so bless him. Yeah, so it's, it's so lovely to finally get to sit down and meet you. Um, so, yeah, I, I genuinely have been one of those people who's, who's come across um, Ohana Swimwear on Instagram several times. So tell me the backstory behind that. Okay. So for me, I started it in 2017, late 2017. I was planning a trip with my friends. I was just about to finish uni. It was like one semester, two semesters left. And we were planning our Europe tour just for that final semester. And at that point, I was starting to look for unique pieces to carry abroad and especially African prints. So and that's when, and it was during summer, I guess it's during summer abroad. So I'm like, okay, fine, we have all this African print clothing, shoes, everything, but there was no swimwear, which I found it odd. So I was like, I started looking everywhere here. I went to all boutiques, I went to online shops, and you know, swimwear is very intimate. So like, you cannot buy a second hand, you have to buy even if it's expensive, I don't mind because it's very intimate. So afterwards, I was like, wait, why don't we have that here? I started searching abroad and I'm like, other countries, they do, like I know West Africa, it's very, they're very proud of their print and they do have it. So I was like, how do we not have 
our own print and that's when the idea came but it didn't come as a business it just came from my own frustration exactly of, frustrations yeah. of finding something unique and really classy and I can be comfortable and feel really proud, proud. Yeah, exactly exactly, yeah. exactly. so um, that's when I actually ordered one piece from abroad, the African print. And there was this company you can custom make. So I wanted to change a bit of stuff just so it can fit me. I'm a bit curvy, so it can fit me. And once I got it, everyone was like, where did you get this? Where did you get this? <laughs> and I remember I told my dad, I think I have a business idea, but I don't know if it'll work. Okay. I want to start selling swimwear. And he was reading his newspaper. He was like, I think just finish school. <laughs> get into the job market and then we'll we'll explore yeah you can explore that typical parent response yeah. is like mm, don't quit school yet <laughs> exactly just, and then who sells yeah. swimwear yeah who does that do we even swim yeah, you know yeah no <laughs> do, i get that Kenyans, yeah. yeah i get that reservation um, exactly so i was like okay cool so i wore uh when the swimwear came i wore it one day as a bodysuit just as a top with yeah. the jeans yeah. and then i told my dad this is actually the swimwear and he was like this is very unique i've never seen anything like this yeah. let's try it but first do your due diligence and then let's see if your friends will buy not just saying they will buy but if they actually put money so i posted on my personal instagram and people were ordering and that's when it just grew from there but my dad advised me to first start as a franchise just to see if there's a market so i didn't start with my designs okay. i just started with designs that are already there yeah. and then from then on from the money i made from those designs i started creating my own mm, yeah wow so what were you studying in uni finance so nothing to do with <laughs> nothing swimsuits to do. or designing Design, nothing absolutely or, nothing and okay. i was working in uni Okay. in a fund management so i used to work eight to five and then because i was in usiu you could choose your own schedule i used to do evening classes and weekend as well oh my goodness and then just to add more yeah. to your plate you're like i'm going to start a swimsuit business and see where <laughs> yeah. it goes so at which point did you realize that you're onto something like how many pieces had been bought or what had happened for you to be like oh, i think i need to put more money into this um at first i was a bit reserved but when I realized it can be a business was that same year, 2017, it was the first year they were doing the Annie Beach Festival. Mm -hmm. And I remember at that point, I was trying to reach out to everyone because I took a loan from the bank. My dad helped me get a secure a loan from the bank to bring different designs. And I was trying to push it as much as I can and nobody you know, is responding. It's new, nobody knows about this. So one of my friends who had bought the girlfriend is an influencer. Mm -hmm. So when she posted and she tagged, I didn't even tell her, I was just surprised. She posted, she was like, I really like this piece. Mm -hmm. And everyone was like, where did you get it from? Where did you get it? So she tagged my personal page. Yeah. It's actually a Lodi oh. She tagged my personal page. Yeah. And I DM'd her, I was like, girl, <laughs> tag this page. Yeah. <laughs> I set up a page for it. And when she tagged Ohana, um, the founder for What's Good Studios reached out and Diane Bitch reached out and I went with the pieces. They sponsored me to go for the festival and all the pieces sold out there. So I was able to pay back the loan within three months. And that's when I got out the money to start. That's why you've seen now different designs that are unique, that are not out there. And that's how I got the money to uh, uh, continue creating and do now my own personal designs and now I've seen I've even brought the modest swimwear yeah for Muslims, which I yeah. want to get to in, in a second yeah. but first I want to understand how, what was the starting capital what how much was your working capital when you first started um I didn't borrow a lot because they don't give you a lot especially if there's no proof of hence why my parents were guarantors but I did uh, about half a million. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Quarter to half, yeah. just in the middle, somewhere in the right. middle. I had to calculate everything. Yeah. And within three months, you were able to pay back. I was that able back to pay back. Because of the interest in your swimsuits. Yeah. And it was the first African print design in Kenya. It's uh, actually the first. Yeah. Interesting. So you were also writing off of that excitement. Yeah. Everyone. And, and it was December market. and it was Diane Beach, all this. Right 
foreigners are coming yeah. and they had a huge audience and I was there most of, I didn't even go on holiday with my family because wow, I was just working, working the entire I had to capitalize on that yeah so do you design all your pieces now and yes. if so where did you learn that um first of all I'm a business woman first okay and designer second okay and the designs it's just crazy because it comes to me because when I was a Diani bitch I get inspired by different things and that's when I designed the first men's shorts when I after the festival I go back to the hotel and just um, look at what were people wearing what looks really cool what goes with these colors and I just come up with crazy prints but now at least I have I've incorporated someone else to help me with the design so we work we call uh, we collaborate creatively right. for now, but initially I was just doing everything. I'll just come up with colors and just try and see what works, what doesn't work. Yeah. And then prints, cause mine are inspired by different cultures. So I'd see which culture and which prints goes, yeah. And I like what you just said, that you're a businesswoman first and a designer second. And it allows, at least from my understanding, it allows you to step back have someone else who has maybe a bigger passion or, or understanding in that field to step in, but you're still running with your ideas exactly. and, and That's shaping why it. I even hired her to come help with the design because right. it's her passion. And many people reach out to me. I've hired like different people who are passionate about and that's why it's even mm. that's why I'm here with you now mm. <laughs> so what do you think has helped make your business model quite successful what are some of those tricks up your sleeves that you don't mind sharing with us yeah for me I think it just stems even from just the core values for my company and my brand because the meaning of Ohana it lies on the essence of a larger family you're not necessarily related by blood but people are connected by genuine loyalty, support, culture, and love for each other. And that's what I think, that's worked for me because it's my friends who've pushed the brand. And if you notice on our page, you feature everyone. So if you buy, you just, you're so happy to be associated. You tag the brand, people reach out. So I think that's what, and that's free marketing. So that's really, really helped me, um, yeah. So, I, and I love that, that your model is kind of based off of community, exactly. which works towards even marketing because yeah. one, once, it, you know, someone posts a picture because they love how the bikini looks and their yeah. friends see it, it's free marketing for you, it, it works out. Yes. What have been some challenges for you in the three years now that you've been running yeah. Ohana? So in the full two years, we're going into a third year, mostly I'd say finances because I'm trying to scale and working with different brands and companies, they expect you to have a huge, they usually have huge amounts of orders. Mm. So for that, uh, getting finances to even expand and yeah, just come up with, and also trying to keep up with, for me, I'm not necessarily trying to keep up with trends, yeah. but also people want something fresh every once in a while, yeah. so trying to keep up with that as well. Yeah, it's been yeah. hard, I get that. Yeah. Um, you just came out with um, like a, a modest line, which when I saw it, I was like, this is genius, she gets it, I love it, I love it. Um, and it, it, it's a testament to what your brand stands for, exactly. I, you know, inclusivity. Exactly. So what was that process like and what's been the reception? Um, I was honestly nervous okay. because I, I didn't, I've been studying the modest fashion for a while and for them, they're more into darker colors. And for me, I, uh, I will always stand for culture and African print because that's our heritage. I, you have to be true to yourself. So I was trying to incorporate the print and everything. And I actually worked with a few of the hijabis mm. just to get a feel like what's appropriate what's acceptable in your culture mm. and the reception was honestly wild because i posted we launched it on 12th december during the holiday yeah. and everyone was freaking out yeah. they're like this is an incredible and actually there's no uh barakinis african print barakinis yeah because i saw um the uh, what i forgot i've forgotten her name forgive me uh the fashion modest model who uh, was posing in the swimsuits okay. yeah 
and it's she's an international model and she's a hijabi oh. and she came to Kenya she shot in coast and I was looking at it, even at her designs and everything and there was nothing African print right. but her origins are from Somalia and yeah. I was like why not create something that even her when we go international she can be proud of and yeah, yeah. oh I love it I remember just being like yeah. clapping you know not slapping my wrist but clapping just like <laughs> this is genius so where can people find your swimsuits okay for now we sell on our website ohanafamilywear.com we sell on our, our social media pages instagram twitter and facebook um, we have them at Temple Point Resort Watamu we recently got a deal with Tuskies the different branches and we're currently working with different hotels you'll see as we will soon reveal once all the partnerships are uh, done, yeah. deal. But it's going to be a Kenyan brand and it's going to be literally in every luxury place you can think of. Oh, I love it. Yeah. You know, recently I was in Diani with um, a, a friend of mine who's Muslim and she was trying to look for a sw swimsuit and it was just like, yeah, no, it's yeah. bikinis. <laughs> There's nothing here. So the idea that you even have that available as an option in, in as many hotels and or even just Tuskies as a retail partner I think is just amazing um, all right thank you this is lovely and I see why Mark loves you so much and speaks so highly of you oh thank you um, and I wish you all the best Nima thank you all right thanks for watching everybody I hope you enjoyed today's show and took inspiration from the different careers that we highlighted we'll be back tomorrow at 9 a.m have a great rest of the day and I wish you all the best with all the side hustles that you've got going and if you happen to know someone or are in a career that you think would be worth showcasing on the show please hit us up on social media that's Instagram Twitter and Facebook and across all platforms it's simple living with this see you tomorrow everybody Bye.